Hi! Welcome to this part of my review featuring the Beyond Corny Grony Adventurer's Guide. If you haven't seen the other parts of my review featuring this Polish folklore inspired campaign setting slash sandbox toolkit, please check out the playlist in the description below. This time we are going to talk about cavern exploration. When the travelers go underground, check what type of cavern they have found and what encounters await them. You have many tables to determine all sorts of things, such as what sort of cave it is, the shape of the cavern, the specific places, encounters, the wide, the height of the cave, perhaps the cave is shaped like an hourglass, or maybe like an open maw. Maybe you find an underground lake or a place of power, perhaps a mine or a spring. And each one of these entries contains additional details. For example, in the case of a mine, it can be a remnant of a primitive quarry or an ore mine, where all work was done using stone or bone tools. If you find ruins, perhaps they are strange remnants of a civilization that do not fit in with their surroundings and which cannot be found on the surface. You can also determine the cave encounters. Perhaps you meet people, maybe you bump into obstacles or mysterious phenomena. When it comes to phenomena, maybe you encounter a rock forest or maybe a lack of air. When it comes to obstacles, maybe there is a collapse or very low temperature. When it comes to people, perhaps you encounter wise people or sorcerers. Perhaps you encounter goblins or the undead. When it comes to armed people, maybe you run into an outlaw gang or adventurers. And there are many subcategories, for example, the lost ones. They could be Styrian tourists or maybe local children. What are they doing inside of the cave? How mysterious. Maybe they are just fooling around. Very dangerous if you ask me. You can also determine the actions and motivations. Maybe the non-player characters are there in order to hunt or maybe to warn the party of adventurers. Maybe they are calm or maybe they are exhausted. You can also encounter beasts and monsters, perhaps wolves, maybe wild cats and bears, perhaps a monstrosity such as a vampire or a gorgon, maybe a giant. You have encounter examples. In order to avoid spoilers, I'm just going to mention the titles such as the Fiery Cave, the Bear's Lair. And this concludes this part of the review. In the next part, we are going to talk about the factions in Karpaki. When it comes to this cave exploration section, the subtables are great. You never know what you are going to find. The same result could have ramifications in unexpected ways. You never know the exact individuals, creatures, the shapes, the structures, the colors that you will find in these strange locations. Thank you for watching this part of the review and thank you for your likes and your comments. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And thank you so much to those of you that are going the extra mile to support the channel. If anyone else wishes to further support the channel, the information on how to do that will be in the description below. And remember, it is better to roleplay and fail in character than not to roleplay and fail as a player. Once again, thank you. And see you later.